Hi, I'm Giovanni Giusti. I run Gallery X here in Dublin. And uh, this is our new exhibition called Still Lives, Honouring the Dead. The first uh, rogue taxidermy exhibition in Ireland. Rogue taxidermy is essentially the use of taxidermy to create original art. Uh, there are five artists in this show, uh, three actual rogue taxidermists and two photographers that use taxidermy as part of their creative practice. The piece that you see here is by Edith Schieferstein, the uh, German artist who's probably the best known internationally of the artists in this show. And it is a wearable piece uh, which can be worn on the head and its title is Thoughts. Uh, this piece called Horseshoes is also by Edith Stieferstein. This is only one of the pair. It is you know, a pair of shoes which can actually be worn and in fact were worn uh, by Lady Gaga on, on stage. Um, it actually, it's interesting again as a, as a commentary, we all wear dead animals on our feet the whole time. You know, leather shoes are the most common thing. And on the other hand, when you see it, when you actually ha see shoes that are made of visibly part, a visible part of an animal, many people react with great shock and great horror, but you know, it's just the same leather. Well, I, I was always into this type of thing, I suppose. I, 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 did, I always admired taxidermy, actually, even as a, even as a kid. Like, I remember um, my aunt having a stuffed pheasant in the house, and I was always kind of drawn to it. And I suppose sometimes taxidermy as well can be seen as a very dark area and quite macabre and so forth. Um, and I suppose I just uh, want to try and bring like a little element of playfulness back into the work. Um, so like myself, I could be, you know, on, on a trip somewhere and I would see things dead at the side of the road or I would also get calls from people, uh, a lot more so now since being on the late late, to tell me that there's such and such dead on, on such a road. Um, but then on, on other occasion, like the, the calf's legs that I used for the cabinet um, were sourced from an knackery and kind of Department of Agriculture was involved. Um, my little piglet that you would have seen um, was a stillborn, wild boar piglet. Um, and then just last week, I got a call from a woman to tell me that a thrush had flown into her window and she actually sent the frozen thrush with her son um, to Limerick and I met him at the university yesterday to pick it up. Yeah, you start to imagine, you know, the life that this little thrush may have had and kind of, even though I, I, I knew the circumstances, how it died, but you can kind of, I do start to imagine how, you know, it flew into the window or what happened or, um, so you, yeah, I do have a kind of an emotional attachment to them, I suppose. Yes, I do see a lot of beauty in them, but I also see beauty in them when, when I come across animals that, I, that have been killed on the roads or, you know, whether it be on the mountains or whatever else, I also see beauty in them when I actually find them dead. It's not only just when, you bring them on to, to be taxidermied. I suppose it's just because a lot of people, yeah, associate, I don't know, death with like ugliness, I suppose, or something that's dark and something that people kind of maybe um, stay clear of or back away from. Um, but I think maybe taxidermy, um, shows people that it's maybe something that should be seen in a different light.